What's up guys? So as you can see behind me, Desperado is back on the trailer and that means the major structural repairs are complete and that feels great. And this video is gonna be the completion of those repairs. So without further ado, let's get to the content. We are down to gel coat on the Amas because there was no barrier coat there. And then on the main hall, we are down to barrier coat with, you know, a few patches of gel coat and a little bit of fiberglass poking through in some areas. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much a two day job. Time wise, it wasn't too bad, but I really do hate sanding bottom paint. I just, I absolutely despise it. I want to show you guys down below here. That's the repair I made. I'm probably gonna add some glass to that eventually. But, you know, it's watertight for now. And then after that, I just wanna show you guys, there really is no evidence that I can see of any external damage. Now, on the inside, the damage was all in this area right here. And there really is no evidence of that on the outside. So I think we're in the clear on that. That's really, really good news that I don't have to do any more glass work on the outside here. I'm really happy about that. So the next thing I need to work on is prepping this boat for the floors to be glued back in, you know, the floor pieces that I cut out. And we've got to go up in the boat to do that. And let me give you guys an update of what's going on inside the boat right now. So unfortunately, you know, I've had this boat locked up for a couple weeks I haven't been inside and I came up here to check on everything and as you guys can probably see you know you can't smell it I can certainly smell it but there was definitely a rat oh shit a rat living in this boat as you can see right there I am trying to trap him I don't think he's actually in this boat anymore I don't hear him or see any more signs of him in here, but yeah, I've got to get all this cleaned up and I'll be more careful about leaving the boat open when I'm not supervising it. So I think that's probably how the rat got in. It probably got in, you know, when the boat was open at some point. Don't know. You know, I didn't think it was going to be an issue because there's no food in the boat, but it is what it is. So I've never actually had a rat in a boat before, but. Oh well. Yeah, I just got done cleaning up all of that rat. Vacuumed it up and then disinfected everything I could. I hope I don't get any diseases. Anyway, I don't think I told you guys why I'm doing all of this work in this particular order. The reason is I wanna get the boat back on the trailer and you know all the structural repairs have to be done before I go ahead and do that so that the hull doesn't oil can again and cause any more damage, so. I believe the floor does offer a little bit of structural support, so I want to get that in even though, you know, the bulk of the structural repairs are done. I want to get the floors in before I put it back on the trailer. So you guys will see this in a little bit, but I'm going to be cutting up strips of fiberglass and gluing them in place, basically tabs so that I can glue the floor down and it'll stay in place. And then once that's dry, I can go in fiberglass the rest of it in. Pretty simple stuff, just a lot of labor, obviously. After the floors are in and they're structurally sound, I am going to modify the trailer a little bit. I've got to put in a new trailer bottom bunk so that the hull will sit well on the trailer and it won't you know, put any pressure on any particular spot on the hull. It'll distribute the weight nicely. And that's not something that the current bunks were doing very well. And we shouldn't see any resurgence of any damage on the main hull when we put it back on the trailer. But keeping our fingers crossed, you know, anything can happen. I cannot wait until these floors are glued back in because that will mean that the structural repairs on this boat are done and then I can start working on more cosmetic stuff. And that to me is more fun than these big structural repairs. So I've kind of chosen to do the hard stuff first, get that stuff out of the way, and then I can start having fun with the boat. This is definitely a longer project than I had expected. I can't wait to get this boat in the water, which it's not looking like it's gonna happen anytime soon. Anyway, let's show you guys what I have going on. So a couple days ago, I went ahead and laid up a single layer of fiberglass and epoxy. That's what you see here. 
And what I'm doing now is I'm actually cutting strips that I'm going to be gluing to the edges of the areas that I cut out on the bottom edge. And once they're glued in, that's going to give something for the liner when I glue it back down to sit on so it's not just going to fall through. So that I'll have glass on both sides. And you guys will see in a little bit. It'll make more sense if it's not making sense to you right now. So let's go ahead and continue to cut the rest of the strips and keep going. Alright guys, these are all the strips that I have now. This is one layer of 1208 biaxle laid up with epoxy. And just an interesting side note, this is a 1 foot by 1 foot by 3 8 inch sheet of G10. And I believe if I were to take a few layers of this stuff and glue it together and press it, it would essentially be the same thing as G10. It certainly looks very similar, it has the same color and everything. So. I think that's pretty interesting. Certainly doing it yourself like this would be cheaper than buying the G10. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. All right guys, it's much cleaner in here as you can see. Let's go ahead and start prepping these edges for fiberglass. This is what we've got going on down here. As you can see, I've now ground away a 12 to one bevel all around my cut. I've also sanded the underside because right now we're gonna be gluing those strips that I made to the underside and then clamping them in place. Then I did the same thing back there. Let me give you guys a better look at that. And then this is probably a little bit more than a 12 to one bevel. And then going all the way forward, did the same thing up here. So we are all prepped and ready. I also went ahead and cleaned everything. So we are all prepped and ready for some glass. And the first step is gonna be those strips that I'm gonna glue in. And then after that, glass the joints and everything should be good, you know, at least structurally, not cosmetically. It's still gonna need work cosmetically, but it'll be, should be okay structurally. We are ready to glass these floors back in. The tabs are now dry. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. As you can see, the tabs are nice and solid. They're in place there. The glue has dried just enough, just enough that it's it's got some adhesion to it. So when I go through and glue the floor back down, it's not gonna be a secondary bond. It's actually gonna be a primary bond because this epoxy is still not completely done curing. So anyway, it is good. As you guys can see, same goes for back there. We are all prepped and ready. Everything is nice and ready and clean and ready to be glassed. Let me show you guys what I got going on out there. So we're all set up. We've got these glass strips right here ready to go. And then down here, we've got the actual floor pieces that are ready to go in. So on this side, as you can see, another 12 to one bevel on everything. You can see there's some joints that I've got a glass over. I've already glassed the back side of those joints, so that's done and ready. And then now I've just got to fill the inside of the joints with thickened epoxy and then glass over top. So first I've got to go ahead and mix up some thickened epoxy and glue those pieces down. Can't point right now. Those pieces, got to glue those down to the tabs 
And then before that's even dry, I can go over with thickened epoxy, fill all the joints and then glass over top. So by the time I'm done tonight, everything should be set up and glassed in and then I just have to wait on it all to dry. And then once it's dry, it should be pretty structurally sound. Might have to go back and redo a couple little things, but for the most part, it will be good. And this is, you know, a major milestone for this project. Putting it all back together, that feels good. So let's go ahead and get to work tonight. Alright guys, so as you can see, we're back on the trailer now. And I did go ahead and replace the bunks that the boat is sitting on. Now, I did add a little bit of wood there for shims, but the bunks are brand new and the boat is sitting well on them and it's not oil canning at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stern. And I'll show you guys that. All right, so as you guys can see, we're well supported. You know, both the Amas are supported. The main hull is supported. And we're pretty good. Now, as you guys might have noticed, there is some pieces of wood that I've placed on the bunks just to give a little bit of extra support. Those bunks actually, you know, they're not 100% perfect and if I was going to keep the trailer, which I had planned to do in the beginning, if I was gonna keep the trailer, I would go ahead and continue to adjust those bunks so that they are perfect, but, but I've actually decided that this trailer, it's just too far gone and I don't have the time to continue to work on it. And Brandy and I have some big news coming pretty soon. So this boat has to be mobile quickly and without me having to do a ton of work on the trailer. So. Randy and I both decided to drop the money on a brand new aluminum trailer and that is gonna be coming in the next couple months or so. So, super excited about that. That means I don't have to do any more work to the trailer and I can focus on the boat. There will be more information coming to you guys about that soon, not in this video, probably in an update video pretty soon, but we have had a ton of stuff going on behind the scenes and we're super excited to share it with you guys and I'm hoping that you guys will be as excited as we are about it. I also wanna say a significant amount of time has passed since I completed those repairs. Months have passed and I haven't been able to work on the boat, unfortunately, so this, this footage right now, this outro is current, but obviously the footage you just watched is not. Anyway, let's go ahead get up in the boat and show you what's going on up there. This boat has been sitting for a while. As you can see, there's no water in the bilge down there, which is beautiful. The repair is nice and dry. There's also no rat poop anywhere, which again, <laughs> is beautiful. All right, taking a look at the repair, guys. It's super, super solid. I mean, it feels so solid under my feet. I did do a couple stupid little things right here. It's easy to fix, so I just gotta cut that off and sand it down. And then I left a little bit of glass up there, unfortunately. Nothing some sanding won't cure, but you know, it's all good. So it doesn't look pretty right now, but it is structural, glass down there. And then looking towards the aft cabin. Something similar going on. Again, good and structural, not pretty. 
also good and solid. You know, I'm bouncing on this section and I only feel the boat moving on the suspension of the trailer. I don't actually feel this part moving under my feet. Just also want to give you guys a shot of that bone dry bilge right there. That's after a lot of rain that we've gotten. So keeping the boat dry, which is essential. And again, she ain't pretty, but she's solid right now. All right, guys, so just a couple more things I want to say before I end the video, and that is, you know, we've got that big update coming for you guys very, very soon. I'm thinking we'll do a separate video, and then we might even do a live Q&A after it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. The next step for this boat before we move it a pretty long distance is I need to get it cleaned up and stripped out. So basically, I think I'm going to rip out all the carpet. I know I said I wasn't going to do that in the beginning, but I think it's necessary. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the head, and I might even end up removing all of the deck hardware as well and filling those holes. Um, we will see. You know, I want to get this boat basically stripped down and ready to work on before we move her. I don't want any excess weight on the trailer when we're towing her. So anything that's going to be chucked or given away needs to be gone. So from here on out, a lot of the work is going to be cosmetic, and I'm really excited uh, about working on that stuff. So yeah, the hard stuff is done. That that fiberglass repair, which sucked, is done. So I'm really excited about that. We got a new trailer coming and we're gonna get to doing the fun stuff. And we're gonna be working on this boat in a much different climate. So it won't be as hot and I'll be happy about that. I think that's it guys. We're super excited to tell you about some stuff that's going on. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it.